So Thursday, October 31st, saw a surprise update for The Sims 4 and the release of Life and Death. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. So again, we got that surprise update. I'll cover what that was for. Life and Death released. I'll cover a couple things you can try to do if you have issues downloading it on the EA app and also some mods that were updated for Life and Death. So to start with, that game update. The Sims Direct tweeted, Simmers, we released a small patch across platforms for the Reaper's Rewards event that resolves the wait for and read newsletter task not completing and the Ambrosia Society newsletter not being delivered due to a stuck mailman. And then it links to the report that's been closed. So that small update had nothing to do with life and death and had all to do with the Reaper's Reward event, which isn't that surprising because I didn't notice anything in last week's update that was for the Reaper's Reward event that they said they were going to put in there and mods didn't even get disabled so they then followed up to say we're continuing to work on the reported issues tied to the reaper's rewards event due to the variations around each report they've consolidated the issues on ahq to support the team in their investigations and for more details and potential workarounds go see their known issues list that you should read first before you start wondering about if your issues have been reported already. So just as an example, there is the list. It's not changed since it was created two weeks ago and I have shown this in previous videos. This doesn't show the workarounds, but if you go to the links, the workarounds would be there. And uh, I do have a full video on, you know, the main workaround is to try and play it in a new user folder that Krenrick has a blog post. I'll link to that blog post down below. And I did cover that in my original video on this. And keep in mind, you do have two additional weeks to get everything done. So hopefully they're able to fix it for those who haven't been able to get it done so far. Now, someone did reply to the Sims Direct and said fix the transferring households bug, which of course is something that's new since the October 22nd game update, which I did cover in my video about some of the new bugs since that update. And the Sims Direct just tweeted that they're investigating and tracking the issue on Answer HQ and linked to that bug report, which I had covered, as I said, already. So the issue is specifically that you can't put Sims into a new household. That's the new bug, that you can't have Sims going into a new household. And the workaround for some people is to go to the household level and have one Sim move out, and that will create a new household. And then after they do that, you can go to Manage World and move any other Sims in with them. I did see someone say that that didn't work for them. And in general, there have been issues with transferring households at the live mode level for quite a while. And that's a separate bug report. But if you do have that issue where you can't move one Sim out either at the household level to create that new household, another workaround I saw someone suggest was to... You take a random Sim, either someone in the world that you don't care about, or take one from the gallery or your library, again, that you don't care about. That, you can create a new household with them when you, with someone from the gallery or the library, when you, like, move them and try to place them. You could move your Sims in with them and then delete the original Sim. So that's another workaround that you could do at the managed households level. So the Sims did release the Life and Death expansion pack today. So they tweeted and shared on various social media with a ghastly new world to haunt, a career that'll bring you closer to Grimm, wills to write, crypts to explore, and ghostly skills to master. Embrace what's next with the Sims 4 Life and Death and that it's out now. And of course that was out at 10 a.m. Pacific. And from what I can see, it was very popular, so I wouldn't be surprised if the reason some people couldn't download it, it was because their servers were, like, overwhelmed, would be my guess. But I know for a couple of people that I spoke to that uh, some of the issues were, like, clearing the EA app cache, which I'll show in the background there. You essentially go to the three lines and then go to help and app recovery and then you clear cache it would close it I didn't do it because I didn't have problems um that that would be one thing you can do another thing you can do is sometimes background services are running so if they're running two ways to get that to end the first way on windows is open task manager and then it just it'll show what's running and then you would just choose to end the task if it is running or the simpler way if you don't want to play with the task manager is just restart your computer and that'll turn it off too 
But if you want to make sure that you don't ever have that happen, you can go into your settings, which I'll show here. And under the application at the bottom there, it says enable background services. You can see I have that little toggle to the left, so it's not blue. Mine is not enabled. If it shows blue, then it's enabled. So I would suggest you have that not enabled and that can help with a lot of issues you might have with the EA app. The other thing that happened is the EA app did have an update today. So if you were confused, you did have an update for the EA app and then there was also a game update. In addition to then if you were trying to get the pack to you know download. Another thing I do recommend you do when you're getting a new pack is to repair it after you've installed it and I always clear my EA app cache. And honestly, I also back up my saves when I'm going into, you know, those saves with a new pack because you just never know if there could be problems with it, which I'll take a look to see. I haven't noticed anything specifically yet, but if I do see any, I'll be back with another video on that. So that's kind of it for the release of the Life and Death pack. So with respect to that release, if you're a mod user and use MC Command Center, there is a 2024.6.2 hotfix to handle some of the new NPCs in the new region, Ravenwood support for the mod. So the 2024.6.1 is still fully compatible and okay to use for players that are not buying life and death. But if you just want to be on the same version, you can get the 0.2, but you don't have to if you don't have life and death. But if you have life and death, you should get the 20. 24.6.2. Other couple of mods I saw that were updated was Tool, which you can see here, and you can see the version and added compatibility with the life and death world and better build by hadn't been updated yet for the game update, full stop, but it was released. I just think I saw that on a Discord. I didn't see a tweet from Twisted Maxi about it, but if you use that, you should go get the updated version of better build by two. But keep in mind with respect to Tool that Last I saw, Twisted Maxi was aware of an issue with tooled off logic objects on rentals, apartments, dorms, etc. disappearing after reloading the zone. And they have a hotfix coming at the time, was later tonight or tomorrow, which would be Friday, for that and a few other minor things. And for now, avoid such lots if you have tool items off lot there. So that was that. The other thing is that remember, if you have a blank world, it means you need to update tool. Yes, even if you updated the other day, because of course, tool was updated today. And also Organize Debug won't show the new pack content until you update and complete the refresh steps in their download post. But then Crin actually followed up and said that this is true if it never worked and you are using an outdated version of Tool. But there is also a bug with this issue if you build residential rentals in the world. And so if it never worked, it's Tool. If it worked and you build a residential rental, then it's a bug. And here is the actual bug report, which doesn't actually have a lot of me too's on it, where they have crept rentals causing a white screen when you load the world. And the one workaround that Krenrick is suggesting here is that uh, it was supposed to be fixed. There was a bug report was supposed to be fixed. It looks like it's not fully fixed. So I think the original one had more, but probably had more me too's. And the only fix for the white world is to disable for rent, if that's the world that you're having the issue with. But essentially, whatever world you're having the issue in, you disable the world and then you save it with it out and then you can enable it again. But you lose whatever, you know, is in that world. In this case, the person was doing a build and they would lose that build. And if you want to know how to disable packs, James Turner has a really good site that goes through it, you know, one by one. Krenrick has a guide, but James Turner has a macro that lets you get the argument you need to put into your advanced launch options in your EA app to be able to disable them. So that's uh, a link to that down below too. So essentially, that's just that if you're having problems and you need to disable a pack for any particular reason, that's somewhere to go to. So back to that, Life and Death came out today. Who has got it? And have you been enjoying playing with it? I'd love to know in a comment down below. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!